What's up guys, it's been some time so I've properly tested my one arm pull up and after having gotten a comment about it on my channel, I figured it was about time to do an update video. So before October, I spent most of my time training on the pulley system and also testing different asymmetric pull up variations as you guys have seen on the channel. Near the start of October, I came across Rock Entry's video where he's now learning to do the one arm pull up featuring Magnus himself, one arm pull up and climbing legend. So after having watched that video, I was quite inspired and uh, motivated, but I also felt like I learned a lot. And uh, the tips that they talk about and that Magnus shares is that you first wanna test your weakest range. So whether you struggle with the upper or the lower half of the movement and then work from there. So that's exactly what I do. As you guys can see right now on the screen, I started off testing my weakest range. I was definitely stronger on the first half of the movement and was struggling quite a bit with the second half of the movement. So from here I decided to focus on that upper half of the movement and uh, do specific exercises towards that. I started out with training for the 90 degree isometric hold. So I'd rip the bar, have a bit of assistance with a finger or two or a band besides me and hold that, that contraction isometrically at 90 degrees as well and as hard as I could till I eventually could hang from only my arm in this 90 degree position and start building up the time. That was what I spent most of my time doing and uh, after that I do a few reps of 1.5 arm asymmetrical pull-ups. I did a small video on these. However, in hindsight, I've seen that this wasn't necessarily the best exercise to do and what I'll talk about a bit more is rather like instead of doing the entire range focusing more on where i was weak and what well, i did that with the 90 degree that's good but i didn't do that really for the um, 1.5 arm pull-ups as i get the entire range like i need to get up here even though you have assistance i need to get up here before i can start putting money in the bank so to speak to work on that upper range which i struggled with so yeah the bully system hadn't really been too bad but I was slowly feeling as though I was stagnating. The setup of the pulley at the uh, at the gym I was using at the time wasn't ideal, so I figured it was better and more effective anyways to just target my weak link directly, and as that happened to be the upper range, there were better exercises for me to use at the time. Anyways, throughout October I stuck to this system, doing 90 degree isometric holds, and every now and then, well, most sessions, throwing in a few reps of uh, asymmetrical so 1.5 arm pull-ups trying to uh, emphasize the end range but sub ideal conditions for that but anyways that's what i stuck to for for october however when i tried to do the one arm pull-up from time to time i noticed that getting past the 90 degree point was really really difficult so i sort of figured that a natural like a logical new weak link for me was now the complete lockout i mean it's still the same range still the upper half of the movement but I figured that you know okay I've strengthened like up to here I can hold this contraction so let's move up and try full lockout and this is really difficult I noticed that this is probably an incredible area to be to be working um, as I struggle even even after a few sessions I can't hold it for any amount of time nearly by itself without any support so yeah and I didn't really do more than one to two sessions of this full lockout isometrics hold with a bit of support until I figured it was time to test my one arm pull up attempt and this is how it looked. So as you guys might be able to see, the 90 degree line is just about starting to budge and I'm starting to move above it, which is amazing to see because this is where I feel like I was stuck for two, three, like I, f I feel like I'll quite quickly manage to just get to the 90 degree hold, but from there to move even a centimeter seemed just unfathomable. So being able to now slowly, slowly produce force beyond that point is absolutely awesome to see. And uh, when I did the test, it's actually the first time I managed to come above that 90 degree point. So I was quite shocked as well. So yeah, awesome to see. Okay, so what's the plan moving forward? Now, what I have been doing for the past one and a half, two weeks now, end of October, beginning of November, is that I'm working on the full lockout isometrics hold. Currently, I do use a bit of support, one finger from the other arm to just hold the bar. 
but uh, but yeah, there's there's room for improvement absolutely here. I, I want to get to holding a full lockout position with one arm for a few seconds by itself. And what I'll also be doing is not 1.5 arm pull-ups, like all the way from the bottom to the top, because I feel like it's a waste of energy for me to go from the very bottom to the 90 degree position. It'd be better to just start at the 90 degree hold, nearly as an isometric. Then I'll uh, use my sporting hand to hold a sling and use that for assistance to get me to the lockout position and then down and that's like one set. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff in there, a lot of good potential for growth. So uh, so that should be quite beneficial. And further into the future, I might look more into how to use thin assistance bands to really work the overall movement of the one arm pull up. And uh, I'll probably test out some uh, doing negative reps and such as well. But if you guys have anything funky I haven't yet covered, anything you'd want to see in this series where I cover some one arm pull up, exercises and uh, well methods let me know and I'll try to test them out we'll see how it goes and as always remember to keep on training train what you love and I'll see you in the next one